YouTube, Ray from Badger Tuners here. Today we're going to do some block prep on this LSA that we have in here. Uh, the only real difference is uh, with this LA is that it is a 6.2 and the only difference is that uh, separate it from a regular 6.2 is that the head studs actually have a little bit deeper thread into them, thus the reason why ARP put such a long little teat on the end there. And so what we're going to do with this block prep is I'm going to go through with my uh, special ARP thread cleaning taps and I'm going to tap every single hole that there's a bolt because I do not like surprises. I'm going to clean up the deck surfaces here. I'm not going to touch the head surface, so I'm going to clean back there, and then I'm going to take and roll this engine over. And I'll be doing the same thing here. <clears throat> what I'm going to do is pull all these studs out, all these main studs, I'm going to replace them with ARP. Uh, and retorque everything, put it all down, and I can start uh, measuring. But like I said, this is block preparation day today. So after we tap everything, clean the surfaces, then I'm going to go back over and blueprint the engine. Mainly, uh, most of these surfaces have actually been chamfered already by the factory so and I'll get in a close-up for you so that really makes my job a heck of a lot easier but there's some places where there's still some casting flash and we'll knock that out so you can see here on the underside of the block there's some casting flash right in here and there's also after the machinist had honed this block out, there's a really sharp little ridge right here. So we're gonna go and deburr that ridge right there. So that way when the, the piston actually comes up out of this cylinder barrel, it won't actually scratch itself on its way down or up. And then of course, here you can see where there's some casting flash in here, still around there, and then right here. Those are all oil returns. We'll knock all the casting flash off in here. And then what I really like to do for my cam bearings to ease those in, I'll take and just knock the edge off right here, just on the front sides. I'm gonna be really careful not to touch these surfaces so that we lose any of that bearing crush in the cam bores. So of course this is an aluminum block and you can tell by this beautiful gray surface that's on there. And then the uh, main caps are obviously iron or steel, excuse me. And then what I really like about these LSAs is they got this cool little oiler that goes down in here and it bolts up right here. So I get that in there. So as the engine stroking, it'll shoot oil up in there and oil the wrist pin and the size of the skirts and everything. Pretty cool little feature that they stuck in there. So here's one of the cylinder barrels here and you can see the difference, the little parting line there. That's the, the actual iron sleeve and then the aluminum part of the block there. You can see a little bit more of that casting flash. We'll get rid of that and knock all that out of there. Another thing that I like to do is I like to come in here. This is where the crankshaft sensor is gonna sit. I like to just just kiss that and clean it up in there. So that way if uh, we ever get a bad sensor, we need to put another one in. It's not gonna take an act of God to, to get it out. 
Here's the back of the engine. You can see where there's little lines left from the, from the old gasket. These are pretty critical surfaces here, so we won't be using a buffing pad. We'll just use our Brillo pad right there. And then of course we'll take out all our deck plugs here. This is for the coolant passage. This is our oil passage. So when they cast this block, they, they have made these oil galleys that run from here down and of course up and they drill into these passages. This is for your oil pump right here. It's another area where I'm going to use the Brillo pad so I don't distort that surface at all. And the same thing right here on this cam plate. This is where the thrust plate's going to go for the camshaft. We want to make sure this is real clean. Okay, and this, these are your other two lifter galleys here. Let's see if I can get you a shot. One of the lifter galleys. Here's your cam bores. And of course, your crankshaft bore. And then you can see the difference in aluminum and cast iron. And then here's your water pump passage. Of course, those are real nasty. I'm clean those up real good. And then, of course, the casting. 6.2 liter. 